Bonjour! And hello! Welcome to a new edition of Roche Wine at Home Cooking Edition. Then, today. Well, what are we cooking today? It's something family inspired, isn't it? <gasps> yes, it is. And we thought we'll do a recipe that is like a little bit of French family. inspired and it's family. French inspired exactly in and Canada during in Canada, COVID during COVID with some duck because duck is really really famous in France mm -hmm. and we love eating a duck in general and what is what's better than that's right than just duck I would say a duck burger I think you're correct let's get cooking then today for you we have we have uh, the making of a duck burger, <laughs> and we sourced it locally, didn't we? That's right. Then we, uh, you know, like it's it's difficult sometimes to find some French things uh, here in Penticton, but we are so lucky to have Tony's Meat, for example, supporting local. Uh -huh. Then. Um, Tony's meat said, Hey, do you have duck breast? Of course, we do. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And we go there, we buy duck breast, and we have the duck breast already cooked, we ready to go. And uh, for gluten free, we actually sourced just pies. Brown rice bread makes excellent burger buns. And for the gluten version, we have Kaiser's. Exactly. And we have uh, actually uh, Eliana, homemade Housemade. apple balsamic me. Check background. That's <laughs> right, then it's uh, actually smelling really amazing. Uh, mustard, then of, of course we will like list all the ingredients for you. We'll have um, it in the bottom of the video and also on our website. And we're just showing them one by one before we, uh, before like, we assemble it. Assemble it, do the montage. Uh, then mustard, uh, Dijon, we don't print the Dijon anymore. Uh, it's the best mustard mm -hmm. ever. French. Okay. Uh, but we thought we will be a little bit more fancy and use uh, like a triple crunch uh, mustard. Yum. Then Grainy. Mustard. Love it. And then, of course, always we have to pair with wines. So we've chosen beautiful Roche wines, the Pinot Gris, 2018, which is an award winner, Lieutenant Governor Award winner. And the Nuance 2017 90 point winner. And now we'll pair those with our, our uh, burgers when they're done. That's right. And uh, there is a uh, like super easy pickled uh, red onion. House made. It's, uh, I made that last night in 10 minutes and you can do it. It's really easy. And some uh, roquette, a little bit of arugula. arugula to put in the burgers. Okay, then we thought because Eliana is a celiac uh, and I'm not, then we thought we will do like a two versions version of burgers. This way, um, everyone can find there's something for everyone. Exactly. Yeah. It's a diamond shape. Then you begin this way and you go the opposite way to end up with like kind of the diamond shape. Yeah. And this is the raw version uh, then of the duck breast. And then, uh, then we'll of course detail that in the recipe. But it's about uh, like five minutes skin down, at yeah. high heat. Mm -hmm. And then a little lower heat for eight minutes. Okay. And then you allow it to rest. And, and the beautiful duck afterwards. And that's all right. So I think what we should do now is actually prepare these delicious burgers. And that will detail all this, and you can certainly try this at home. So what's first? Then mustard, moutarde. Uh, then we have two kinds. Uh, Eliana, which one will you use today? I think the triple crunch. I love me my grainy mustard. Okay. And I will go with the French tradition, Dijon moustard. <laughs> Perfect. So we're putting uh, on the base of the bun, we're putting a little bit of the mustard, spreading it over there. And then next off, we've got uh, a little bit of your onion preparation. That's right. Then uh, here are the pickled 
onions. And, and you use Spanish onions for that, correct? Uh, the, the, the red onions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you see Spanish onions yes. for red onions? Yeah. Or red know. onions. That's awesome. I didn't know. <laughs> see, we're bringing the world to everyone from the virtual comfort of your home. <laughs> okay, then a little bit of mustard, a little bit of onion. Roche made at home. Made. All right, so we do a little bit of the uh, arugula next and then the uh, arugula is here. Then let's dig in. A little bed of arugula. That sounds comfy. Perfect. Excellent. Très bien. Beauty. Voilà. Jolie and couleur. La pièce de résistance. La pièce de résistance. Le canard. Right. And I'm learning my French here little bit by a little bit. A little fourchette. Fourchette. <laughs> then now you kind of like, and you know, everything is really like you put any like number of slices you want. You make I'm doing it. the fan version of mine. Yeah. I use four, you know. I'm using four and a smidge, a little skiff. Yeah, that, that looks good. You know, I think it's just yep. a, a nice bed. And after that, chutney. And a little bit more onion. A little bit more little onion. Bit. Yep. A little bit more onion. A little onion. bit more arugula too, or just yeah. I think yeah, just, you know, I think why not? Why not? Why not? Actually, let's do that a little bit there. And it makes such a pretty colorful salad. Um, it's very nutritious for you as well. And it's like we're going out to a fancy restaurant. That's exactly. You can do. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's Eliana. You wanted to give us your recipe. Yes, yeah, so I'll write this down. I actually uh, created this last night, my very first chutney. Awesome. Um, but uh, I think I will put it here. Yeah. Eighteen-year-old balsamic vinegar. Oh my. Can you? Yeah. And so the last piece is the chutney. The chutney, which is, you know, for me, it really make the beautiful link uh, between all the ingredients in this recipe because it's the sweetness in the chutney, it's the acid in the pickled onion, and it's the spicy in the mustard, and of course, the juiciness of the duck. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's so beautiful. And let's finish it. Then a little bit of uh, chutney at the top. And we'll put a little bit more arugula. You know, burgers are awesome because you can put anything in it, and you know, and it's, they can be personalized as well, which is really fun. Huh? Then let's do that. Okay. Oh wow! Look at those babies. Gluten-free and non-gluten-free version. And that's a. And I think we should probably have a little bit of uh, wine with this as well. I think so, you know, like... Look, yeah. over there, I see, with my little eye. <laughs> Let's actually try the Peter Gray with it. I think so. Okay, you know, and again, we uh, just put two choices up front because we think, again, you can... You can do white cheese. or red with your burger. Oh, well, you know. You want and both, yeah. Then a little bit of um, Pinot Gris. And this is a tradition series, so a little bit more French in style. A little bit of oak. And uh, here are the burgers. And cheers to you. Enjoy. Santé. Santé. A bientôt.